What's up YouTube? Jordan here. Coming at you with a quick video today. Haven't been uh, on for a little while here. Just been trying to catch up on videos from you guys and I've been super busy at work so I haven't been able to make a video or anything but I got some uh, tobacco in today which is awesome and also not awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys that and I got a couple shout outs I'll do too uh, here. But so yeah, I got um, three tobaccos I haven't tried yet. Um, old dark fired. Bold Kentucky. Seattle Pipe Club, Mississippi River. So I opened them all already because I was, I got them actually in the mail this morning. So drove to work today and uh, I opened them. I had to smell them and check it out. So I've got, I've watched a lot of videos with guys talking about these three specific tobaccos. So I decided to try all three of them. Um, the Mississippi River, I don't know. I've, I've only smelt it. I haven't tried it yet. It smells to me, um, very similar to uh, Seattle Pipe Club, uh, whatever the other one is that I smoke. Um, it's very similar smelling anyway, so we'll try it out and see if it's much different. Uh, this one is uh, Oriental Latakia and Perique, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll try that out. Right now I'm smoking uh, some Bold Kentucky. No, Bold Dark Fired. Got too many in all at once. Yeah, no, old Kentucky I'm smoking. So interesting enough, I started smoking this and I was like, man, this is really good. Like, I really enjoy this. This might be one of my new favorites for sure. We'll see. Um, but then I looked at the two other tins I got and noticed that this one doesn't have a warning label on it, which then prompted me to check the date on the back of it because I thought they all had to do that even. Anyways, whatever. Um, and it turns out this tin's actually got a few years age on it, so May of 15 Which is pretty awesome. I didn't expect that so I mean four years age on it. I've Not to be in my cellar, so I had to crack it open. I tried it out and it is delightful. It's definitely got that Mac Baron taste to it. You can definitely uh, taste that. I don't know, but it's uh, it's amazing. I, I really enjoy this. Um, it says it's a strong blend. Not recommended for inexperienced pipe smokers. Well, I don't know. I seem to be enjoying it, and I'm smoking it in my little mini pot, not filtered. Doesn't have any bite. Um, I just took it right out of the tin and packed it. It is a bit moist, so. I got a tiny bit of gurgle, but I sorted that out. I just put it down for a tiny bit here and sorted that out. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And uh, I would like to actually get another tin of current stuff to see if the age actually matters. Like I i don't have a cellar sp specifically, so I don't have any aged tobacco. I've never tried it. So this is, uh, I don't have anything to compare it to, especially because this is the first time smoking Bold Kentucky. Um, but I so far am heavily enjoying it so so yeah a couple shout outs I wanted to do I did a video a few days ago and I also did another video and for some reason the just using an old iPhone the videos didn't upload actually one was supposed to be a VR to Simon London Callings uh, giveaway, and uh, for the life of me, I could not get that video to so, like show up or uh, work, so that sucks, but I mean, whatever, not a big deal. Um, but I did another video here uh, a few days ago, and I tried to do the same thing, so uh, that phone's going in the garbage, I'm on a different one, um, and here we go. Um, so, Whiskey River Piper, I just checked out a few of his videos, he's got four or five, he just did one yesterday, uh, He's he was 
starting a Whiskey River Wednesdays, uh, I think he called it. So he's going to try and start something like that, I believe. Go check him out. I think he's only got like 60, 70 subscribers. Um, yeah, so interesting guy. Check him out. Um, Three Rivers Piper. Uh, same thing. He's pretty new, under 100, I believe, subscribers. Only done a couple of videos. Um, and then Chris Garcia, uh, I haven't really watched too much. I watched his intro video, but uh, he's also in the 100-ish or under 100-ish subscribers kind of thing. So go check those guys out. Seems to be, uh, they'll be uh, pretty good. Um, and then another guy, I don't know that he needs an introduction. He's been around for a while uh, as a watcher and just checking videos out and commenting and things like that. Wildcat Sam 77 he did his uh, intro and he's got a couple other videos uh, out I believe. Um, so go give him some uh, sub love too. Um, I don't think he's new to tobacco, he said I think 10 years or something he's been smoking pipes or something like that in his video. Um, so, but uh, new to presenting so awesome, right on, good to see you and uh, go check him out. Um, those are the uh, shout outs I have for now. I'm sure there's more that I've watched. Um, I've been a lurker here for the last week just because I get home late uh, from the, this job that I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I've just been watching in the evening, falling asleep and to you guys basically. And uh, yeah, so, so right on. I think my dog's fighting with a squirrel right now. Or maybe the neighbor dog anyways, whatever. I'll sort him out. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of what's going on for me. Haven't been in the shop, haven't been carving. So here's the bad thing about this tobacco I got in today. Um, I paid, so I'm from Canada, I paid 68 Canadian, shipped um, from Four Noggins which is awesome. I've never had issues with them. They're amazing. They just gave me a somewhat aged tin of tobacco. So I'm going to tell you to go check them out if you haven't already. Um, but uh, this time I've ordered four times from them, I believe now. And uh, I haven't had issues with it never coming or anything like that. It just, uh, this time I got hit with uh, customs and the customs and duty and taxes that they charged was $10 more than I paid for the tobacco. So $78 Canadian for customs on a $68 run of tobacco is, uh, <laughs> it basically makes it not worthwhile. Well, no, I shouldn't say not worthwhile, but it basically makes it not any different than me going to my local B&M and spending a buck a gram on tobacco, that's Canadian, a buck a gram on tobacco, which is crazy. Um, like, tin like this, 50 gram tin like this, 50 bucks here. It doesn't matter what blend it is, it's 50 bucks all day long, 51, 52, whatever. So it's, it's a buck a gram, like, and so I think that's why there's not a lot of B&Ms or tobacconists around here. Uh, because they don't make any money on expensive blends. They make money on their cheaper blends, so they always have bulk and stuff like that, which isn't bad. I mean, I still want to support them and stuff like that. Um, and I do. I still buy tobacco from them. It's just I was getting it at like a third the price. So now it's with that heavy uh, tax and duty on it, it's kind of... I can't complain because it is it is what it is. I know going into it that I'm going to get that, but uh, I've just lucked out, I guess, the previous three times. So it's still been worth it, all things considered, but if I have to start paying that to order it, um, I might have no choice though. Unfortunately, the uh, tobacconist in town, um, the owner is getting a little bit older and he's talking about either closing the doors or selling. Um, and there's one other like mainstream kind of Meg bodegas magazine shop kind of tobacconist ish shop in town too but they have like even worse selection like the worst selection so it's kind of really hard to get uh like i even even at the the regular one that i go to it's impossible to get um any other blends than they have a few blends that they have given rights to i don't know and and whatever then they make them all bulk and uh tins are few and far between peterson and 
some other brands like that. Not, not knocking it, it's just that the selection isn't isn't there. So I, I could never get H and H Bold Kentucky, for example. Here, there, it just wouldn't happen. So I'll still probably buy online, but I just got to keep aware of uh, the duty and taxes. So, anyways, that's all from me. You guys have a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.